Let's just check out this beauty. Man, what is this madness? Hey guys, it's Kralz and welcome back everybody to a final episode of Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. A lot of you guys were a little bit upset that we've been waiting for steam trains and I only showed three. So uh, here we are. Let's repair some steam trains. We have in front of us job number four. The locomotive requires the repair of the rear wheels together with the axles and suspension. I'm not gonna wait. Except, and there she rolls in. Repair the rear wheels and their axles. Task income 150 bucks and then repair the suspension of the rear wheels. Task income 100 bucks. And also, you know what? While we add it, what we could do is screw gun could be improved. And then we still have 15k in our pockets. I guess we could go into mechanical workbench one. And then let's save the last cash for something else. So let's see here. Rear wheels. Can it be this? Have we seen this train? Yes, most definitely have. Or maybe not even. Have we? Oh yeah, we have had one of those before. I have no idea what they are called. I have no idea about the model of them or whatnot. But uh, let's see here. We have three problems here and two here. And straight away, this doesn't look healthy whatsoever. I guess... Having them a little bit like messed up like this color wise in the game is a little bit of an Oh, I fell down. It's a little bit of an easy mode like I wish they, they weren't a little bit if you know what I mean Because now we can straight away see what the problem is like this I don't know for me Maybe there's like it's less challenging if you know what I mean Those are found and there's still one piece remaining to be found and where should that be? That should be the rear wheel sumabouts. And now I said something and now I might not even find a piece of it. But uh, we will find it. Trust me. We will find it. There's got to be a little piece. Here are sumabouts. And I think it's just this one. The rear axle, right? Let me see here. Testing mode. Yep. Pretty much is. So, disassembly. We're going to start off by taking away those. And there's two screws. And two. And then this thing over here. And what was this damaged, by the way? Yes, it was. So, <laughs> remove the floaty thing as well. And now we can just go and, I think, mechanically repair everything without any big issues. And this is going to be job number four. So, let's see. Can we? Can we not? Shall we? We shall. Okay, so this is the wrong workbench. What is... Is that hydraulics? And this. And now let's see. Rear axle leaf spring. How can that... Is that electrical? How can... Hmm, how can this be electrical? Well, I'm... 100% repair chance. But uh, electrical? And back here. So installation mode. First goes this on. Then we got the wheels. One on each side. Because that is how it operates. We have those things and two screws hold that together. Boom. Boom. And the same goes on this side. So, uh, oh, I need to actually turn the camera here. Role play element. And bam. And let me just see here. That is done and that is done. Income. Finish order. Yes, please. And she rolls out. And more cash in the pocket. Only a thousand bucks though. But I take it. I take it. And the final job. I think that was. Not the final job. Of those four. Or three. Or five. Or whatnot. Was to go out. We receive information about the locomotive. At the port. Okay. So we need to get. Our butts. To the port area. And recover that train. Yes. Locate the damaged locomotive. Bear. The oil fields. Ho, ho, ho! Is it a bear or is it just near the oil fields? I thought it said the port area. They didn't say port? Well, doesn't matter. It is just here up ahead and it is one which we've seen before. But I don't judge. Connected? Is it connected? Is it back here? It should be. And bring this back to the, to the workshop. This is such a pretty area. I like this so much. Like this... Uh, the oil field area. Job order number five in the steam workshop. The left piston tank was damaged. That's kind of cool because we haven't seen one of those. Replace the piston tank pipe as well and repair the piston and piston grip. 
You know what? Let's get out and take a peek. And straight away, we see stuff up ahead here which are not looking as hot as intended. Piston tank. And is that just... Let me see here. Disassembly mode. What do we need to disassemble it? The whole shablang here. The left arm. So first the cross bracer lever. No, cross brace goes away. Then the lever. Then this. Then we still have the whole thing over here. Oh man, let me just take a peek at this. The piston can't go because of this one, the rod. And the rod cannot be removed from this, so we need to exit that mode, go into the track mode, remove the connecting rod, exit that, go back here. No, 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 no. And now, piston goes away. Yes, it does. Then we have the piston handles. This is, this is neat. This is what I love about the game. Also, I'm not sure that there's a thing this game has, but wouldn't it be cool, like, when you replace, like, go into the installation mode, and you don't see those things around it? I'm not sure that is something you can disable, but it would be kind of cool having that with, like, having this without it, because that would mean that the job would be so much harder, because then you had to remember where you removed all the pieces from. But how, where is this even, let me see here, where is this even... Oh, there's a little thing here in the bag, the nozzle pipe. Remove the nozzle pipe and then the tank. So that should be pretty much it, right? Um, <laughs> okay, so we found a piston tank, piston tank, and now it's just this wheel. And to remove the wheel, disassembly, what do we need to do? We need to move to the truck. Remove the wheel connector, I guess. First of all, let me see here. Is the small connector in between? Then this. Then the caliper. And then the wheel. And that, ladies and gentlemen, should be that. Yes, it is. Goes in. Goes in. Goes in. Goes in. See? Piston goes in. This goes in. This little cross brace. And then I think we're done with the tank. We also need to go into the truck and get the wheel going. And after the wheel, the wheel connector. Then it'll like middle connector over here. And the big connection rod and the caliper. And we are done with this mission. Perfect. Let me see here. Bam, bam, bam. And although we have exceeded the limit, can I sell something? We can't. I've made a big mistake here. We've exceeded the allowed limit. Doesn't matter. Finish it. Roll it out. And not get any bonus. Crap. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm still happy about the situation, right? And now let's see. So what was the loud noise they've heard? Was it this noise? Because I've been doing that quite a bit. Has it derailed? Nope has not. Is it connected? I haven't had a derailed train in absolutely forever. Look at all the pieces move back there. It is absolutely beautiful. Sorry. Yeah, the graphics are sure beautiful. This task over here, going out and grabbing trains, gets quite boring after a while. I don't know why, but there's not much more excitement around here. Like, if there were, like, more tracks, trains moving on them, you had to wait and stuff, I think that would add quite a bit to the game element. Now it's just very generic and do the same thing over and over and over and over again. So having trains moving about, different trains from time to time, would actually not be a bad idea. Job number 7 in the Steam Workshop. It appears that the front cylinder was damaged due to too, due to, 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 too much pressure. Make the necessary repairs. Income zero. So why am I even doing this? Where is the front cylinder? And yes, baby, it is this big, ginormous thing in the front. Oh man, this is gonna be awesome. How do we even? Let me just see here. How do we even approach this? Disassembly mode. 
to disassemble that, we need to disassemble a half of the train. Uh, I guess the handles goes first. Let me see here. Where do where does that handles go from? The light, the headlight, is that a thing? Okay. So headlight goes away. Then we still still have still have still have. That goes away. Seems like the handle is located in this part instead. Okay, the the piston tanks. Oh my gosh. If they need to go, let me see here underneath. Oh man, this is a ginormous mission. All right, let's see here. So if that connects to those tanks, means we need to disassemble those over here. And that means removing the whole thing and to remove that. First of all, was this, right? Then it was this, but this can't be removed from this before we remove those rods over here. So connection road goes away, and now we can fall back on this. Oh, this is gonna be a big operation. Now let's see here. We still have that nozzle pipe one and nozzle pipe two. Now that goes away. And underneath, we need to remove the nozzle. Nozzle pipe one goes away. I, this is, I like this. I like this a lot. Compressor pipe output is connected to where? Where exactly would that be? Is it into the boiler? Is the boiler responsible for those? Let's see here. Where was it? Those pipes here. Compressor front output goes away. And this pipe. And I guess we need to do the exact same thing on the other side. Because, yeah. It looks the same. Alright. So that is gone. Now means... I guess we could disassemble that. No, we can't. Because that is connected where? Oh, it's connected to this tank. So, <laughs> dang it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bear with me. And the piston. And now the piston tank will be removed after removing the nozzle pipe. There we go. It's gone. And the nozzle. Which means the only thing which is connecting this guy are those handles which are connected. Are they connected to the front? They are not. Are they connected to the boiler as well? Let's see here. Is this a boiler thing? Okay. <laughs> Damn. Now, boiler. Are you free to go? Perfect. <laughs> like, look at this. Half the train is gone. Alright, so I did repair the smoke box, but I also accidentally repaired a little bit of other things by mistake. So that means my income is going to be terrible on this job. But anyhow, let's see if we can put this together again. So smoke box goes first, like this. Perfect. So then we had this like little cylinder thingy. We also could add a little light back on with a little few, few screws on both sides. There we go. Then what next? Nothing really here. Well, nozzle goes in. There's gonna be piston tanks on both sides. Like that. We also had those little piston pipe nozzle pipes. Piston pipes, nozzle pipes. Piston tank nozzle pipes. And on this side as well. Both sides like this. Not too shabby. Then pistons. Both sides like... Can I even know? Need to rotate get in yeah this is it's like it looks harder than it is because you have those like no like ghost lines so you know exactly where to put stuff like that then we have the cross brace both sides and that is the last part here i guess next would be those rods are going to be replaced there we go one on this side and this one on this side perfect not too shabby. Then we have the boiler. The boiler needed those handle things over here. And also some piping going into the nozzle over here. So this goes in. This goes in. And the same from this side. That should be the final piece of the puzzle, right? Let me see here. Nothing in warehouse. Complete job. And we are still in the greens. Finish order and... 3,000 bucks. Is that what I'm going to get paid? Oh, baby. Yeah, look at that. Zero income, though. 
Not bad, 3000 bucks, what is the next mission? Four new jobs and still the same trains. I wonder if there's, I think there's been three electrical ones and three diesel ones, but I've only seen two steam ones so far. You know what, let's just go for job number eight then. She rolls in, I'm not even gonna read because I, I think I can see what's wrong with it. Repair the front of the locomotive, yes. Repair the front light and the signal bell. Hey, this might be a new one, is it? Nope, it is not. And oh my, oh my. Yeah, this definitely looks, <laughs> looks like... <laughs> the bell? Is the bell faulty? Let's just jump up on the boiler here and let's see here. Testing mode. Is this the front bell which is faulty? Yes, it is. So, disassembly mode. There we go. So there's the bell at least. And then we think what we need to do is jump to the front. And get the, the test steps tested, I guess. That is faulty. That is faulty, the cooler is faulty, and I think the front blade. And that should be the pieces we need. Actually not, front light as well, forgot about that. Headlights, faulty, so disassembly mode. Remove! That goes away, the steps goes away. The coolers can't go away because they are held together by the... What are you going to call them? The bars? The handles? Let's see, what do you call them? The handles. So the handle goes. And now we should not have any problems. Oh yeah, first of all is this one. Be gone. And the cooler. And let's see here. Front blade cooler and steps. And headlight and bell. Is that all mechanical? Well, I guess start with the electrical one, which is the, the light, headlight, 100%, do it. Also, let's see here. R steps. How are they electrical? Huh. They, they definitely look mechanical. Well, not even mechanical. Well, I guess more mechanical than electrical, but I take it, I take it. I'm not going to be the guy who judges. Here as well. Perfect. Then we have the steps. L look how beautiful this looks now. Brand spanking new. Almost. That goes in. Next thing would be the bell. And the handles go back in, right? So first is... is uh, handles. Select. And the bell. Right here, which is... Let me see here, is that, where was the bell, the boiler? There we go. Are we done? Bam, 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 and finish order. 2,500 bucks. I think we can start purchasing some, some upgrades to our little thing. Continue. Let's see, tablet. Huh, we have 15k in the pocket. I guess we could go for one more hydraulic, just because. So we have 4-4, four, four, and then go for, well, electrical, I guess. And then we just have some hydraulics left as well. Then we have four in each category, which is, well, not too shabby. Where would the next objective be? Let's check this out. Where's the next mission? So I have done a few jobs off camera just to see if we have some new trains popping up. But so far, nothing. We have those two steam engines to our disposal. Let's do job number 14 because that is convenient. We don't have to go out and find it. And what was wrong with this? Replace all the pressure indicators in the cabin. Kind of cool. Check what door hatches are jamming. Well, that is something new. Into the cabin we go. Damn, there's a lot of stuff in the cabin. We have the left door hatchets. Let's disassemble that. They are faulty. Then we have those gauges over here. Pressure gauge. Do you say gauge? I think you do. Remove that and remove this. And let's just check on the objective. Small pressure gauge is found. Those are found. So we still have those up here. Well, yeah, they look pretty beat up now, don't they? So remove you and that's just a little hose going down and remove that. Is there still one not found? Which one should that be over here? How do they all break at the same time? There's four of them and they're in different places. Put this in. This one here. 
and then the remaining thing is just some some hoses going in and they were not damaged so should not worry about that we have one going just okay this is a little bit tricky can i zoom in on this somehow bam that goes in we have one here so that goes in and then we have one remaining here we still no we're still missing there's still one is it this one over here no that is in here which one is not connected does does this have two no oh so there's i still have one no i don't anymore all right so that is gone I guess we could sell those parts because they are not needed anymore. And then what we do is check the little thing here and we have completed pretty much everything. Finish order. Job number 14, I think that was. We do have still 13. I think that is at the rail train. So let's just check that out. That rolls out. And now let's see here, the final thing here, before we go to job number 15. We received a report from a cowherds car caring for cattle by the river about a steam train that derailed near the pasture. I can find that train. I can totally find that train. And to the pasture we go. So far this is my favorite region. The oil fields, the desert is just pretty, pretty nice. The pasture is just up ahead here, so we should not have any issue finding it. And I can see the green here in the distance. And now is the question, is it derailed? Or is it just standing on a track saying it's derailed? Because I haven't used my crane in such a long time. It is derailed! Finally, some hot crane action coming up at us. Let's see here. Can I change this? Uh, stop. Pause. Collaborate and listen. I can. All right, so let's just back it up here. Cows. Hi. Man, I haven't seen a derailed train in a few episodes. Stop and press X. Well, well, well. Let's see here. Boom arm goes up, goes up and rotates. I still haven't really mastered the skill of the boom arm yet, but uh, well, it is what it is, everybody. It is what it is. Then get this down, which is which button on my keyboard? This one over here. Like this and C. Press C to hinge. There we go. Man, let me just see here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a liftoff. And the cool thing about this is that we can really check out bits and pieces now. In the light, not a dark depot. Like, I mean, just look at this. That is so cool looking. All right, all right, all right. I'm not going to be the guy. Let's, let's get it back on the track, I guess. But uh, I'm a little nerd for this. Will we be able to do this? I think we will. Coming in. Height is 1.1 meters. Distance 6. Not far off. Will that interfere with our little project here? I don't think it will. Like this. And boom arm. Boom arm goes down a little tiny bit. <laughs> like, I mean, like a professional. Did you guys see that? That was beautiful. Now let's head with this train back and see what's wrong with it. But at least we had something different. I've been doing like 15 jobs here or 13 or whatnot. And it's been pretty much the same, same, same scenario. Go out, find a train on the tracks. So you're using the boom arm or the crane. Was not bad. It's a good day to be a train mechanic. By the way, where are we exactly heading? We're heading through the canyon, then into this. So we need to change the tracks here at the canyon. Do not forget about changing the tracks, Kiralis.
Job number 13. We've already done 14, okay? So here we have the damage are relative serious. Some wheel connectors and rods need to be replaced. Check. Some springs have been damaged. Check. E check if any of the drive wheel axles require repairs. That's a lot of jobs going on here. We've yeah, well, we've pretty much seen this. This is damaged. Like, yeah, that is pretty beat up. And let me just see here. Can I? Well, I, don't, I, don't, I guess I don't really have to jump. I could just go here and then rotate the camera. But uh, it just feels more right going around the thing. We also have those rods over here. They look really beat up. Like, this little small connector needs to go. But before that connector needs to go, and that needs to go. So, rod gone. This goes. This goes. Those are beat up. Let's just see here. We find, found two wheel connectors so far. Rear axle spring leaf. Oh, there's a lot of jobs on this guy. We also have this damaged. This goes out. This and this. There's something here on the inside. Is that brake clippers? That's leaves. All right, so brake caliper. Oh, we can't on this side. I always forget about that. That's the brake, uh, brake caliper connector. So brake lever and this one. So let's see here. Just to get to that leaf spring, we need to get that away, get the wheel, and now this one over here. The same goes from this side pretty much. Let's see here. Brake calipers. And this one should be coming off. Leaf spring. This is broken. And there's one more in here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's see here. That is found. That is found. And that is found. Ladies and gentle peeps, we have found absolutely everything. And everything is absolutely in perfect condition almost. <laughs> well, it is. It's not. It's not. But it's as good as it gets. So, installation mode, leaf spring. Is that leaf spring, by the way? Is that called leaf spring? I think it was. Let's see. Axle spring leaf. All right. Spring leaf is in place. Now we have a lot of stuff here. First is first. We have the drive wheel axle. Get it back into place. We have uh, the leaf springs here. Free to be precise. Two on this side and one on the other side. That goes in place. We have wheels and the lever. Or lever. There we go. Is that all? Do I have any spare parts? No, I don't. Let's just check the checklist. Everything is repaired. 3,100 bucks. Should be my income, is it? Moment of truth. I think it is. 3,100. Oh yeah, baby. And continue. I'm hoping. I'm hoping for a new train now. This is job number 15, is it? Everybody. Job number 15. A new type of steam locomotive was bought to the, brought to the workshop. Unfortunately, it does not require major repairs. Incredible! What, what is this? Let me see here. Replace the pistons and the piston handles. Yes, service the wheels of the truck. Of course! It is a new train. Let's just check out this beauty. Man, what is this madness? Holy crap, that is cool. I am so happy that we did those 15 missions to, just to see this. All right, so what was wrong? I see stuff in the front here already. How do I... Hmm, how do I get into this? Uh, I guess we need to disassemble this just to see stuff. How, how do we get in here? It's so hard to see. Like, I mean, obviously, this is faulty. That should be faulty. That wheel should be faulty. And the piston here should be damaged. That is what I can see with my eye like that. On this side is pretty much the same. Didn't it say nothing like major? Like I see stuff here and there's a lot of stuff being broken up. And the piston. There we go. Let's see how we're doing. We found that. We found everything. All right. So maybe that is not that major. But how do one get in to remove those pieces? Does it show us disassembly? The boiler. Oh, okay. So that is in the boiler department. So if I go into the boiler, I can rem remove... The, what was it called? The guard? Stud? Left guard. And right guard. All right. There we go. Can I access this now? Oh, yes, I can. 
everything should be repaired. Let's get back to it. First is first, installation mode. We can, uh, the wheels, well, the handles, I guess, can go in. Since we clicked that already. Get the screws in and the truck wheels. Two on this side and two on this side. I like this train quite a bit. It's different at least. But that also means that it's the same in the steam and like I mean the diesel and the electric department. Like train number 15 is gonna be different. But I am not gonna check that. Not on camera at least. Braces, both sides. And get those guards back in. Let's see here. One on this side. Whoop. Bear with me. And one on that side. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is that train repaired. This is actually a cool looking model. Damn, what a beast. All right, sign this order. That is repaired, that is repaired, and 2,000 bucks should go right into my pocket. Perfect. I am all though, even though I'm gonna say goodbyes to you guys, I am just curious, maybe one more cool job, depends what it is. Oh yeah, look at that. Compressor. All the front lights went out in a steam engine. Well might not be as exciting everybody thank you so much for watching thank you for the support on this little short series we had it's a fantastic and a very addictive game and i think it was 11 bucks or something on the steam workshop so it's not really that expensive either so if you want to repair some trains please feel free to check it out there's going to be a link to the game on the steam workshop in i mean the steam page in the description below the video and uh, thank you so much have a very nice day kiralis over and out i like trains bye everybody